signs. It's Nicole. Can you bring my glasses? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So this is for I'm going to do this like I did the, uh, the readings last weekend. Instead of doing the weekend read, I'll do it for the rest of the week. I will continue to do this until my special is over. My special ends on June the 15th. Um, actually, let me rephrase that. I'm going to continue to do this until I get all of the mid yearly, I mean the three month update readings for each of the zodiac signs out. I am currently on Leo, so yeah, I've got about nine more to do. Um, and this is in the midst of doing six month readings for other people. So just, you know, bear with me until I can get the individual weekly reads out for the zodiac signs. By the end of this month, we'll start back with the weekly reads for each individual zodiac. So let's see what messages we got. This is for the week of January the 8th through the 15th. This is for my air times, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? For the week of June the 8th through June the 15th, 2019, we're picking up on these strongest energies. June the 8th through June the 15th, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. June 8th through June the 15th, 2019. What messages do we have? And I'm aware that um, I said July and January yesterday. My apologies. Um, I had every intention on it being for June the 7th. So the reading was for June the 7th. So let's continue. Um, this is for June the 8th through June the 15th. And for those of you that are interested in the special, it is the six month um, update from. July until December of 2019. Um, reading kit. Go look in, in there on my dresser. Y'all, I think I lost my glasses. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a six month reading. If you guys check out the Gemini uh, three month update or the Cancer three month update, you'll see the format that I use. I actually do three individual readings for each of you. So, anyway, let's continue. I might put the, actually, I just think I'll add on the intro to that on the uh, beginning of these. So let's see what we got. This is for the week of June the 8th and June the 15th, 2019. This is for Gemini Libra and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Aquarius. I guess I have shuffled that wrong with this. I did a lot of fucking shuffle. Alright, so let's see what we got. Ten of Cups. This is about emotional fulfillment. Someone wants emotional fulfillment. May not have had a Capricorn energy, Devil here, Empress here, Taurus, in it, Taurus Libra energy, War card, ooh, Three of Pentacles here, Five of Cups. So some of you guys are disappointed or going through some disappointments, needed to see something from a different perspective, Five and Five. So either you're worried here about moving into a new cycle, a new situation, you got fear. There's fear of bringing in a whole new world, cooperating with someone. You may be wondering or worried about if it's valid. So the world part in the subconscious, there's an ending for a beginning. So some of you guys may have been in a relationship that did not bring emotional fulfillment, that you felt at a lack. You were just investing time only to be disappointed. So now there's an ending to that. There's a whole new world here. Devil card here as the focal point. Why is this devil card here? Taurus here, Hierophant here, King of Cups here, Eight of Cups. Someone walked away from a relationship, from a karmic relationship. So someone walked away from a karmic relationship. They may be extending their energy, speaking truths now. Empress here in the... Huh? I'll find them when I get done. Um, my kid keeps walking behind the camera and talking to me. And he could just come right here and ask me because I'm sure y'all see them walking. So anyway, with the Empress here, Knight of Pentacles here, you may feel like something has taken too long. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. So you could be focused now. Someone's focused on moving toward an Earth sign. This is a Taurus. Empress is Venus. Someone's in love with the Taurus. Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, Empress. This is a Taurus. Sun card here, finding happiness. Five of Swords, feeling in conflict about that happiness or feeling in conflict about being um, open about what they feel. But someone is very focused. So you could be nurturing yourself and focus on moving forward. In the past energy, Empress, someone realized that they were, they had someone, that they were um, needed to move toward someone. So, air sign. Either you're in love with a Taurus, because um, Taurus is all over here. Hierophant, King of Cups, King of Wands. Someone wants to extend their energy here. Maybe find an emotional fulfillment. Maybe dealing with some disappointments right here and needing to cooperate. 
So this is like a whole new world. A whole new world. In your outcome. I mean, not in your outcome, but in your exterior. So somebody is, someone is a whole new world for you, if that makes sense. Like someone is a whole new world. So with the world card in your subconscious, why is the world card in your subconscious? Could have walked away from a relationship. Someone you're dealing with could have walked away from a relationship. Going through an emotional growth. They could have some fears extending their energy out to you. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This could have taken a long time. Someone is wanting to nurture you. Someone is very focused on moving toward. I'm sorry. The first three cards I got that represented a person besides the major arcana. It's an earth sign. So... Seven, and if this is not an earth sign, if this is not a Taurus, this is someone that is taking on the grounding and sensual energy of a Taurus. Now, don't get me started with a Taurus, I'm not a Taurus. So if somebody is taking on this energy if this is not a Taurus. World card here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Why is this world card here? This is more Scorpio. Why is the world card here? See Aries, see Leo. Why is this world card here? Sagittarius up there. Why is this world card? So those are all fire signs now. Don't think about it. <laughs> okay then. Uh, two of Wands here. Someone could be at a crossroads. Three of Swords here. Seven of Connection. Page of Swords because of the truth. So someone, seven, someone may have received some not so nice information. Not, uh, page of Swords here. Some heartbreaking information. Page of Swords. Three of Swords. Someone got some heartbreaking information. Now they're at a crossroads here. World card here. Someone could be delayed, um, seeing the truth of a relationship, seeing the truth of a connection. Now, if you've been, if this has been a third party here, okay, and you've been in connection with someone that has been in a low vibration or stuck in a low vibration of karmic relationship, you could have been dealing with karma before, and you could have walked away. Some of you guys were in a karmic relationship with uh, Capricorn. You could be walking away and extending yourself toward a water sign or toward an earth sign or someone that is encompassing that. That person may be very focused on nurturing you. They may see you as someone that is nurturing. Empress. Now for others of you, this is you getting out of a karmic relationship, walking away from something that was very in low, in very low vibration for you. Um, really choosing to nurture yourself, extend your energy to a hierophant, <laughs> to a Taurus here. The world card being the outer energy here, there has been some heartbreak. Someone's truth or someone's inability to speak truth being at a crossroads may be heartbreaking. So there could be an end. The world card talks about endings and beginnings. So there may be an end to heartbreak. Um, someone may be may speak truth and come into their own and decide to cooperate. World uh, will and fortune here. This is fate. So three of pentacles here. I'm not going to put that. Three of pentacles here. Why is the Spirit of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, shit. Someone's no longer putting in uh, time. Someone's choosing love. They're deciding to invest in love. Very much dealing with some disappointments here. Someone needs to change their perspective here. Um, hmm. Now I'm going to be real with you. Gemini energy here. Nine of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a single Gemini here. King of Pentacles here. Earth sign again. Okay, earth signs all up and through this read. What y'all got going on? Someone's taking action here, gaining their independence and choosing love. They're cooperating now because you bring them emotional fulfillment. Or if not you, you may be wanting to cooperate with someone, wanting to put time into a situation because you're disappointed with what did not work. So now you're wanting to put some type of energy, time. This could be someone that you're working with as well, that um, you're cooperating with uh -huh, to gain emotional fulfillment. Ten cups, ten cups. You have emotional fulfillment or you have the potential to have emotional fulfillment with someone. I believe this is someone that you're working with. Um, you may have had them at a lack before. They may have had you at a lack before. Either way, I got five pentacles. This person is worried about working with you as well. Hmm. Gemini. Well, you, first air sign I'm seeing, Gemini. So this could be for y'all. Um, but not just saying that. Someone's choosing. Someone's making a decision. Five of Cups here. Feeling disappointed. So there's some disappointments here. You could turn your back on someone. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? You could turn your back on someone. And they could be disappointed about that. 
Um, someone could turn their back on you. You could be disappointed about that. There's some disappointment. Someone's possibly moving forward here. Um, this could be heartbreaking to you. This could be the end of a cycle. For some of you guys, someone could be moving forward and picking an earth sign and sending their energy to an earth sign, and that is disappointing to you. Um, you feel like you've put a lot of time into trying to bring emotional fulfillment into a situation, and there is some disappointment about that. So you're deciding to move forward. Um, five of Cups here. Five of Cups here. If you walk away from someone that extended their energy, they're moving forward. Wheel of Fortune here. And I think them moving forward to something new is breaking your heart. Moon car here, Hermit, yeah. So you're in your feelings. Trap money, baby. Got me in my feelings. I'm sorry. That song. Every time I hear it in my feelings. Yeah. So you you set boundaries to a situation here. Now, Emperor Aries energy here. Um, and I see some fire signs up there. I definitely see Aries. There's a, someone has a new opportunity with an Aries. This may have been at a temporary pause in action. Some seeds may have already been set. This person could have already been dealing with this person. But this is about emotional fulfillment. You were in a situation that didn't bring emotional fulfillment before or didn't have the capability to bring emotional fulfillment. You felt at a lack. You felt disappointed. Um, this is a whole new world that you're moving into. You could be deciding to nurture yourself and focus on moving forward. So within that motion, with you deciding to focus on yourself and moving forward, your karma... The person that you were in karma with has decided to extend their energy toward another relationship. And I think that was your fear. That could have been a fear. Your fear was that this person would move on and be happy. And I really believe this person has moved on and they're about to be happy. So let's see here. That's the disappointment. This is the end of a relationship. transformation. What messages do we have? What messages do we have? What messages do we have? Yeah, someone's looking to the future. They, they have taken, and you know what's crazy, and I'm sorry to say this, but you may have said something to this person that, because wise leadership with emotions, you may have been wise within your emotions, choosing yourself, and you may have propelled this person to choose himself as well. So now they're looking to the future, revering about forgiving the situation of the past. But there has been a creative spark. Someone is changing their fate, their fortune. They're moving toward their own happiness. Yeah, romance, love. So you kind of helped each other. You helped each other find love. This is all I have. 